if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, the Great! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge. in reach. A couple of chins here being tested early. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it and stop throwing it. Big punch lands over the top. Oh, oh nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Big kick lands. Try to establish that jab. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Found the home for that left hand. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Beautiful head kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back and forth we go here! And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he hurt a bat with a jab. Oh, eats a knee. Look at the turtle in that kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 
Head kick, that's a miss. Nice straight punch. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice job to catch the leg. He saw that strike coming and now works it into a takedown. So now he has the fight to the canvas. Let's see what he can do. Oh, little single collar tie there. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, single collar tie here. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Fifteen seconds. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Final seconds here in round one. Boom. Boy, Ty Club. Stop. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, second round is underway. Your Wait, thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Nice. Right punches there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Right hand punch to clinch. Ooh. really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Watch the shot to the body. I mean, look at the commitment to kick. Side kick now. Takedown defense holds up. He's driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Trying to double up on that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's got the single collar tie. His misses are entertaining. It's not over. It's not over. Slips the punch nicely there. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. 
All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you've got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Good punch, Lance. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Whip his hip into that kick. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as they start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal tonight. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, man. Single collar tie now. Again, back into this position. And just misses with that big right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Back and forth we go. All oh, collar tie. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Head kick. Right hand punch with the clinch. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, safe to say he's not going to be going back to the hotel room to watch this one. He is completely out of gas now. I mean, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. It looks like he's starting to lose that desire to get his hands raised in this fight. Take the controller out of yeah. his hand. Get rid of him. Who's next? <laughs> who, who put their quarter on the table? Whose quarter do you get to play next? Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. All right, single collar tie now. Straight punch lands. 
good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Checks that leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch to the clinch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. The right hand just misses. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision, or you can lose by knockout. But when it goes to the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, that's a nice strike. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Hey. Big kick lands. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Big punch land. Ooh. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And they separate. Twenty seconds left. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Wearing the winner by unanimous decision, the girl. Right, so the judges are in.